In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this travel-inspired design where we have an airplane window where we look through it to a tropical island and we also animate all the travel elements with it. Now, if you want to save some time while making designs in Canva, I have a lot of templates available that you can download via the link in the description below. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, first, we want to change the background color. So select the background and go to the color wheel. I'm going to go for a gradient and then scroll upwards and click on the color wheel again. Here, we want to change it to a circular gradient. I'm going to change the tones of the blue just a bit, so we get a more vibrant blue. And then on this one, I'm going to do the same for the light version and drag it more towards the blue. I think that looks good. Now we're going to add some elements to the slide. First, I want an airplane window. Go to graphics and then select one of the airplane windows that you like. I'm going for a style where I want a semi-realistic. So I'm going to take this one and place it on the canvas. Now we want to look for a frame. So I'm going to type in frame, go to frames, and then I'm going to select one that will fit somewhere in this window. So for that, I'm going to scroll down. You can take this rounded corner one. I think we can do this and then sort of edit and adjust it so that it fits the window or at least the cutout part of the window. Now I want to look for a island aerial view because we're looking from a window and I go to photos and then you can select whichever island picture that you like. I'm going to select this one and drag it to the frame. Now I'm going to position and send it to back so that it's in the back of the window and it looks like we're looking through the window onto the island. So that is quite good. If you want to change the position, you can go to position, layers, select the frame, maybe drag it outside for a second, double click and then adjust it like this and then you can place it back. So you have a more zoomed version if you want. That's how you do it. I'm going to keep it like this. That looks quite good. And now I'm going to add some extra elements. First, we want the airplane tickets. So we type in airplane tickets and then graphics. And then you can choose whichever style you like best. I kind of like this one. I'm going to rotate it slightly and position it to the side. Position and drag it below the window or below the picture in the window. And now let's look for some, let's maybe an airplane. Go to graphics or maybe photos see if we can find a realistic one or semi-realistic one something that fits the style of the image that we're generating here i think this one could do good it's like a 3d rendered version so i'm going to reduce it in size and then add it somewhere slightly overlapping the window like it's flying through it gives that effect i'm going to edit and add shadows and add some drop shadow increase the blur amount and reduce the intensity so that it's a bit more subtle but still has a drop shadow and you can always increase it until you find the right position i'm going to do it right here now we want to add some clouds so go to the elements type in clouds go to photos and then select a few of the white transparent clouds you can scale them down and position them across the slide i'm going to use a variation of clouds so we don't always have the same ones and we have a multitude of clouds. Let's add a few more, scale them down, and now we're going to position and then spread them out in the layers. So some of them can go all the way to the back, maybe even behind the tickets. And the other one can be, let's say, in between the airplane and the window or behind the window if you want. That is all possible. Let's do it like this and then this one up front. If you want a more intense cloud, you can Control C, Control V and create a duplicate to put it on there. That's something you can decide. Now I'm going to close it and look for a text element. Let's maybe look for one of the pre-existing ones. Let's see if we can find a nice one that will fit our style. So it's a bit more playful, a bit more dynamic, and I think we can also go for a more playful font. I think I like this one. I'm going to reduce it and then double click to change the words. Fly, away, exclamation mark, and then of course, Select the text, make it white, and also do that for the top one. Make it completely white. Go to effects and change the neon effect or the shadow effect to something blue. That way it fits better with the style of the image. And do the same for the other one, the other word. There we go. I'm going to close it and position it more in the bottom. Maybe increase it a bit in size. And now as a final touch, I think we can add some shadow below the window. So go to elements. Shadow, graphics, and then circular shadow so that it looks like it's floating a bit. 
Let's take this one, make it slightly smaller, and place it underneath the window. Adjust it a bit, position, and drag it underneath everything. If it's too harsh, you can always reduce the transparency to make it more subtle. But this way, it more looks like a 3D element on the slide that is integrated in the design. Now let's have a look at how we can animate this slide. So for that, I'm going to thumbnail view, and I'm going to create a duplicate, so we have a clear copy to fall back on. And I'm going to select the window and the picture. You can always go to position and select them like this. And then Ctrl G to group them together. That way they act as one group. Go to animate. And here I think a rise animation will look good. And we're going to do the same for the shadow. So both rise at the same time. The thickest, I think a nice pan will be good from behind the window. So reduce the speed a bit. The airplane, maybe a pan from the other side. So that it looks a bit like it's flying. Reduce the speed. And then select the clouds. And those can either... I think a breed animation will be good. That gives some emphasis on the slides and it sort of lasts a bit longer which is always good. You can reduce the scale so it's not that intense. And then for the words, the final one, either a pop animation or a wipe animation. You can choose whichever one you prefer. Let's try a few, see which one looks nice. I think I'll go for a simple pan animation as well. Let's duplicate the slide once more, delete the elements on the middle slide and let's preview from here. And this is how you can create this really cool travel inspired design in Canva with the window in just a few minutes. Thanks a lot for watching and if you want to learn more about Canva make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.